With the Cloudinary Flutter SDK, we can easily include all of our Cloudinary files in Flutter applications and optimize them for delivery. Let's see how fast we can get started. First of all, we need to add the packages, so go ahead with Flutter pub add Cloudinary Flutter and Cloudinary URL jet. Once you've installed those packages, they should of course appear in your pubspec YAML file. Now we can create the connection to Cloudinary by first of all adding three imports at the top of our main Dart file. We're gonna need the Cloudinary context, the image widget, and also the Cloudinary.dart file. With those in place, let's initialize our connection by saying Cloudinary context.cloudinary and equals cloudinary from cloud name. So what's our cloud name? Well, the cloud name is right on the dashboard of your cloudinary page. So let's copy our cloud name from here and put it in here. Now that you've configured your cloud name, you're already halfway there and we just need to add an image from our cloudinary files. So let's go to the body of my widget and remove this center object. And instead, I'm gonna use a CLD image widget instead. With the CLD image widget, we can now display any asset from Cloudinary. So let's put in a public ID and we can take a sample ID by simply going to Cloudinary and the digital asset management. I'm gonna of course take this delicious breakfast here and we actually only need the last part of that URL. So we can see that it contains Cloudinary, we don't need that. We also don't need the rest of image upload and the cloud name we used before. So simply use the last two path elements, which are the ID of the image, hit save, and once we reload our application, our image appears. So to use Cloudinary in your application, first install the two packages, then create an action with a cloud name, and finally use the CLD image widget with a public ID to one of your assets.